Hey everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome to Artisal's Art and welcome to this brand new video of my three painting meditating Buddha series. And in this video, we'll be watching the complete process of how I paint this painting from start to finish. And we will be talking about a very important topic, which is how to break artist block. But before we jump into the topic of discussion, a little announcement. So this beautiful series of three meditating Buddha paintings are available for purchase at my online art shop at www.arishals.com. And if you would like to learn how to paint these paintings step by step from how to draw their drawings to each and every technique used in these paintings to learning how to paint these paintings from start to finish then do join in at the monthly art classes at www.artishalsartacademy.com which is an online school from where you can learn how to draw or paint by taking various classes or workshops. So for more details about the monthly art classes at Arishal's Art Academy, do check out the link in the description box below. And I would be extremely delighted to have you there to help you with your art, to help you grow with your creative process while painting these really beautiful, calming, meditating Buddha paintings. So without taking any more of your time, let's talk about how to break artist block. So I am a part of various art groups on Facebook and I see this question pop up time and again at various groups. But I decided to talk about this when I saw Angie Helland at Acrylic Painting Group ask this question and she says, what do you do to break your artist's block? Any specific art activity or lesson? I'm in a rut. I've tried many ideas. I've read in books and seen online, but it's going on for three weeks and as soon as i saw this question i just thought that you know i had to make a video of it because as an artist i completely understand you know how difficult that artist block situation can be how frustrating that time can be you know so you know that's why i thought of sharing with you my tips that i use personally to deal with artist block so you know the first and my absolute favorite thing to do to conquer art block is i really tend to gravitate towards nature like you know i would just stop what i'm doing i would go for a walk in some mountain area around my city or you know i would go for a walk around the area where there's a lot of trees and uh, where there's a lot of nature and if i can reach out and go for a walk on the beach you know going to a place surrounded with nature and peace and which really makes me calm that really really helps me because you know when we are in an artist block that is kind of an anxiety you know that is kind of a frustrating pressurizing moment that we have on our head you know when we are literally beating ourselves that ah we don't we're not getting the ideas we and we don't know what to do we don't know how to get started we are scared if we'll mess up all those things so you know all those stressful things are going on in our head so you know there's a lot of this kind of stress that is going on in our head so you know going towards nature going to a beach having a really calming walk in the forest or you know going on some mountain this really help all those negative voices in my head to just calm down you know just de-stresses my mind you know it just makes my mind silent for a little while and that really really helps me in conquering my artist block and you know in just shutting my mind down so that when i get back to my table to paint my mind is all calm and fresh to get started with uh, what i want to try or what i want to do so this is the biggest helpful thing that i do but the second biggest helpful thing that really helps helps me is very much related to the first point about calming my brain down and that is regular practice of meditation i can't stress this enough how meditation helps you know my meditation practice is like my savior because it really really helps me uh, stay focused on what i want to do and it really helps me not to get too stressed when things are not working out or when i'm not getting ideas 
and it really helps me keep myself in control so walking in the nature going out in the nature and meditation these are the two things that i use to calm down my brain and run away from the negative voices so that you know i can focus more on the possibilities of what i can do on my canvas or on my paper or on my sketchbook so the third thing that really helps me is i completely sometimes just like to keep my big canvas and my acrylic paintings aside and jump onto painting with simple markers or maybe you know just really simple watercolors so changing the medium or working on something else really helps me you know relax a little when i'm not able to think of any idea about what to do on my big canvas with my acrylic paints so you know acrylic paints are my main medium and because they are my main medium i really tend to put a lot of pressure on myself to come up with something really exceptional or something you know really high quality or something really worthy of putting up in somebody else's home or a gallery or something like that so that is the kind of pressure i put on myself while painting with acrylics and that sometimes you know lead to a block and changing the medium just working with something very light like markers or watercolors just helps me relax a little and you know it kind of even gives me new ideas about what i can do with my uh, big canvas or my acrylic paintings as well so you know for example if you are a watercolor painting artist just try your hand at some clay go and make uh, some sculpture or if you like cooking go ahead and make some dish or give yourself a break from whatever you are doing doing and that will really refresh your mind so the last thing and the thing that i use the most to fight my artist block is force myself to work i know when you have an artist block you anyways don't have any ideas or anyways you are too scared to put that first paint on paper so how are you supposed to actually force yourself to work so let's take an example over here so if i have a canvas in front of me and if i just keep staring at that blank canvas the artist block in my head will be really happy that i am not able to work and i will not be able to work all the more you know staring at the blank canvas or a blank page really does not work there'll be an inner voice when you'll have an artist block that will tell you that what if that page gets spoiled you know what if that canvas gets ruined so just you know be that rebel child you know when you say to a child don't do that then the child definitely goes and does that so when the voice in your head says that don't do that you can spoil the canvas don't do that you can spoil that first page of the sketchbook then by all means put that first blob of paint on the canvas you know do just anything when i face a blank canvas and i really really don't know what to draw on it i'll just open my laptop you know go through some beautiful faces and try to draw those faces on my canvas go through some magazines look at you know the faces or the shapes that inspire me and put those shapes on my uh, canvas or on my sketchbook and you know i totally completely believe in this saying that inspiration comes only when it sees you working so only when you are working only when you're forcing yourself to do something you will get more and more ideas and staring at a blank canvas and just listening to those inner voices will not give you more ideas in fact you know those inner voices will stop you from working on that canvas all the more so once again you know just be a rebel to those inner voice if those inner voice are saying something negative to you just do the opposite just do the positive just get started just force yourself to do just anything but force yourself to get started and one thing will lead to another one pencil mark will lead to another pencil mark one little 
brush stroke will lead to another brush stroke and you will eventually start getting more ideas more inspiration and before you know it you will have a full spread in front of you so that is it these were my tips on conquering artist block and before i go away i just wanted to let you know that i have this free meditating buddha coloring page that you can just download take a printout of and color it the way you like with markers with paints in any any kind of medium you like and just display it in your home so if you would like to have this free coloring page to paint on then do click the link in the description box below it will take you to the place from where you can download a high resolution photograph of this coloring page and if you have any questions that you would like me to talk about then feel free to click that contact button at www.adishals.com and i would love to hear from you i would love to answer your question i would love to address your concern and help you as much as possible with your art and last but not the least a quick reminder reminder once again that if you would like to learn how to paint these paintings from start to finish step by step with my personal attention and guidance then do join in at the monthly art classes at www.arishalsartacademy.com a place from where you can learn how to draw or paint by taking various classes or workshops so i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends on facebook and i would really from my heart appreciate the support so till i see you next time bye and happy creating bye